Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to publish Elementor page on WordPress in 2024. So in today's video, we're tackling into a fundamental aspect of building and launching your websites. So if you've been working on a stunning design with Elementor and you are ready to showcase it to the world, stick around and I'll guide you step by step of even start working with it, then publishing your Elementor page on your WordPress website. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and log in into your WordPress dashboard. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, just go to the URL section, type wordpress.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into the home screen or main screen. And meanwhile, I'll just open that. Of course, if it's your first time, you'll find yourself instead on a page like this. So go to the top right corner, click on login to login into your account, or click on get started here at the top right corner or here on the middle. Of course, uh, you can even understand a lot about us. If you keep scrolling down, you'll be able to see the pricing, the features that comes with it. You can post the video and check it all by your own. And yeah, so once you're logged in, you'll find yourself on a dashboard like this. And of course, I'll just go and use that as an example. So you'll have to go and navigate into pages. So go to this list panel, you'll find pages right here. And here, of course, you'll find a list of all the pages on your website. If you've created a new page with Elementor, you will have to locate it in the list. For me here, I have a lot of Elementor pages. As an example, if you're using Elementor outside of WordPress, you can simply go here to plugins, click on add a new plugin, so you're here, just go to search plugins, look for Elementor. And you will find the plugin right here. So simply just go install it, then activate it. Once this is activated, you will be able to create new pages here inside WordPress with Elementor. By simply going to pages, click on add a new page. And of course, let's just wait a bit until it's opened in here, just simply go and click on edit with Elementor. Once you click on it, you will be taken to the Elementor free option. If you use the Elementor on their website, you either have the Elementor Pro, of course you can log in into that in, in here, in like your WordPress and you can use the Elementor Pro also here. But if you don't have it, if you don't have the Pro and you wanna use Elementor, as you can see, you'll be able to use it for free here in WordPress but you will not have access to the pro tools like this one. As you can see, a lot of pro tools you will not have access to, but a lot of useful tools, you'll be able to uh, do it or to use them. So don't worry. So let's just go back and now. And as I said, so just go to pages and click on that or just click on all pages. And here, of course, you'll be able to see all the pages on your websites. Of course, if you, as I said, created before some pages with Elementor, for me, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, I have six pages of Elementor. I'll be able to find them in here. For you, if you didn't find any, just go and install the plugin, as I told you before, and create a new page with Elementor. And for you, if you find it, once you locate it, of course, to publish an Elementor page, you will need to make sure you are an Elementor editor. So just go to whatever page you're looking for. As an example, I don't know, maybe this one. So just go and click on it. Once you click on it, you'll be taken to it. As an example, you'll be taken to this page. Simply go and click again on Edit with Elementor. Once you do so, you'll be taken again to the Elementor websites right there. So you can, of course, review your page before publishing it take a moment to review your page ensure all the elements are in place and the content looks as you intended you can preview your page by clicking the preview changes button to see how it appears to your visitors of course the preview changes will look will be right here at the bottom left option as you can see preview changes you can even see how it looks as you can see in this responsive mode if you click on it you will find something here at the top You'll be able to see how it looks for desktop users, how it looks for tablets users, and even how, even how it looks for mobile users. This is very crucial, especially if you're looking to improve your SEO ranking for your website. So keep an attention to that and make changes that will be able 
or that will make your websites very good for all the users desktop tablets and phone so once you like review your pages and you're sure that you have everything in place you'll basically have or basically when you're satisfied with your elementor page it's time to make it live so just go and click at the bottom left corner option here publish button this publish button or this will save your changes and make your page visible on your website visitors so basically just go and click on that and as you can see why your page is live you can simply go and click on have a look and they will take you to your website with the page they're working as you can see very simple so now you've published your website you'll be able to view your published page of course so by simply go and click on review changes like as example you'll be able to see it how it's looking can check everything if it's working or not as an example and yeah congratulations your Elementor page is now live on your website you can view this published page you can uh, of course and even if you find something is not working you can always go back to the page and make any changes this is necessary as an example so just remove this and simply go and click on updates this will republish our page with the changes that we make so if we click now on preview changes we'll find ourselves in here as you can see with the change that we made so now you can of course before we wrap up as an example uh, here are some tips for and best practices for publishing elements or pages make sure your pages as we said before is mobile friendly optimize pages or images sorry for speed and even test different devices to ensure a responsive design regularly update your contents and explore elementor's advanced features to enhance your website further because as i said before this will increase your uh, speed of your website that means it will increase your rank of seo that means it will it will appear to people on google once they type related words of course you can see one of my videos i've made a lot of videos on how to in increase your ranking seo on how to have relevant keywords that people are looking for and etc and yeah so there you have it you've successfully learned how to publish an elementor page on your wordpress website in 2024 of course elementor provides a powerful user-friendly platform and for creating like stunning designs without any coding so if you have any questions or there is a specific topic that you would like me to cover in the next tutorial drop it down below in the comment section and if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one and i will see you in the next one